Oh, yeah. See, we plan ahead. That way we don't do anything right now. Earl, explain it to me. But Bo DeMeo <laughs> came out this week uh, and said that he is going to tell the whole story about what happened uh, about his release, but only on his OnlyFans page. So everyone's like, Do I need Great. a drink for this news bit? Jesus. You might. This was like watching Saw 5 after you've watched Saw 4. Like, there was no surprise to Saw 5. You knew the cop was the bad guy. We know that Disney fired him, allegedly for being black and gay. He's said that before. And that's what he basically reiterated in a half-hour diatribe. So... People are, are kind of saying, why are you telling the truth from behind a paywall, Corey? And and I can't I can't really snub those people for saying that. But at the same time, if I can get people coming to my fucking OnlyFans site and subscribing for shit, I would too. I'm a capitalist. You have an OnlyFans? No, no. I was gonna say you need to pitch in some more money around here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marketing budget one, needs to increase, to bro. Subscribe. <laughs> I want to have faith in Bo because he put out one hell of a fucking series with X-Men 97. Um, and I, I don't have a whole lot of faith in season two because they're throwing out so much of his stuff from what I understand. Yeah. But golly, he did a good job and, and it sucks having to separate the art from the artist. I don't like having to do that a lot, but yeah. I don't know. Disney is a horrible company. They really are. They will shit can you without question. They have zero tolerance and they do not fuck around with that shit. Yeah. Tell the company in line too, or you can get the hell out too. Yeah. So like there is definitely something more with this story that none of us really know about. And this is probably cause for him trying to be like, yo, you keep defaming me here. I and you know, I got my side of the story too, and I gonna I'm gonna let it out, but like it's gonna be on my terms and on my my platform, you know. And I get that. That's totally cool if that's how you want to handle it. Like yesterday we got a, a YouTuber back, Dr. Disrespect, and he's not monetized right now, and he was talking about his situation too. And took a took him a while to get to it, but you know. It's kind of a thing these days is gotta gotta grab a little bit more attention i guess yeah yeah and that's i don't know sucks. for me like when it comes to drama stuff like this it's like try and keep it behind closed doors but i know that's not realistic so i just don't quite know what he was thinking sending out pictures of himself like <laughs> wearing cyclops's chonies and the, like the the yellow chest belt thing and being yeah. like use this as inspiration for what like other than jerking off what am i supposed to use this as, as, as inspiration for like kevin a, is there something you need to tell everybody i like cyclops chonies kevin kevin has officially come out he likes his uh cyclone chonies cyclops chonies chonies <laughs> cy chonies <laughs> For those of the don't speak Spanish, that's underwear. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> See. See. No hablo español. <laughs> Except for chonies. Chonies. <laughs> but that having been said, OnlyFans did report an eight. Speaking of OnlyFans. Only <laughs> <laughs> Porn's oh, doing man. a lot better this year than cinema is. Like, <laughs> uh, other than fucking Deadpool and Wolverine, OnlyFans is like destroying the home viewing market. So, but on to other douchebags, uh, oh. Dis Disney has also let go and halted production on Neil Gaiman's newest picture. This hurts. This really hurts because you have to stop and ask yourself. Is this true? Do I have to once again separate the artist from the art? Or is this the Me Too movement claiming another just random person that didn't want to pay a fucking ransom? I honestly don't know much about the story. My wife was asking me and I, 
I had to kind of start looking it up before. Um, from what I've read, it's allegations that he had sexually assaulted somebody back in 03, 04. Mm. And apparently there had also been allegations of uh, him not exactly, um, uh, how do I put this? A little touchy-feely too much yeah, with people? Yeah, thank you. He, he, he was doing that. Okay. And just and was not taking no for an answer. Ah. But this, I mean, he's one of my favorite authors. This fucking yeah. hurts. I mean, I actually went to a book signing of his uh, when American Gods came out. He uh, was doing a signing. Oh, that's one of his? Okay. Yeah, it's one of his. He was doing a signing at San Jose State. This is when Marvel had uh, released issue one of 1602. Oh, okay. And Gaiman wrote that. He, I actually have a signed first issue of that. Oh, hmm. wow. Cool. Well, my, my spouse has a misprint of the final issue of Sandman that he signed. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, I mean, when, when Gaiman got the book, he, he looks at it, looks up at my spouse, and if you've seen... This is before Gene had the mohawk, but was always, <laughs> like, kind of gothy, punky looking, but you no, know, he looked down at the comic book, looked up at Gene, looked down at the comic book, said, would you like this personalized? So, this one really fucking hurts. Mm. I mean, I hope to hell that this isn't what it sounds like but at the same time i'm kind of you know like getting ready for that kick in the teeth that this is what it sounds like and waiting for the like, shoe to drop so to speak i mean yeah. right now it's just allegations like it's, it's gonna have to be more than that to pursue an actual criminal case yeah and then also whatever statute of limitations might be on something like this because it has god been, i don't know it's california i mean yeah. 20 years yeah yeah 20 21 years but I mean, it's a, it's a shit proposition either way you look at it. I mean, either somebody who I look up to, you know, because I've done some, you know, writing in my in my past. You know, somebody who I look up to either yeah. turning out to be a royal piece of shit uh, or somebody I look up to getting shit on for whatever reason. And it yeah. just... I actually haven't been following the story too much because I don't want it to impact my mental health. Gotcha. That's fair. I, I honestly don't know anybody that doesn't like Neil Gaiman, either personally or professionally. So this was uh, this was kind of news to me scrolling past and seeing it going, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I was just like, what? <laughs> I have no idea. That's why I figured when if we were gonna cover this tonight, like I'd ask you guys, like yeah, if you knew a little bit more than I did. Yeah, but it I sounds mean, this... like you know Disney's been having trouble adapting the graveyard book anyway, so this is just an excuse not to have to do it now. Ah, uh, that makes sense. For me, this would be like somebody coming out and saying Weird Al was. Yeah. Abused. Uh, that's that probably would... what I would probably liken yeah. it to. For me, if something happened with. Like weird Al, yeah. yeah I'd be like, that would what? that that would destroy me because again, that's somebody I've looked up to pretty much my whole fucking life. Yeah, that comes off as the sweetest fucking person on earth. Clive mm -hmm. Barker is the same way. If if someone came out and said Clive Barker was a rapist, I'd be like, I'll cut you. <laughs> like, not him, the person that cried that. I'd cut yeah. that for it. Well, and for me, like, uh, another one I would say is, like, as a wrestling fan, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Nobody's yeah. ever said one bad fucking word about that guy, like, ever. If something came out about him, I'd be like, fucking shit. I don't know about watching wrestling no more. <laughs> I'm done. But he's a decent guy. He's, he's fine. So. Well... That we're not talking about Hulk Hogan or Ric Flair. I think we're all good. Yeah. Wh what about Mr. McMahon? <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. Um, yeah, wonder where so and so got that from. Um, so I have a question for you guys. Considering yes. that 
McMahon is actually on this documentary, Mr. McMahon, and that uh, Trips is on it, Stephanie's on it, and a whole bunch of other performers are on it. Some of them are unhappy that they're on it. It's like, well, you got paid to be on it, so don't be that unhappy. With all that having been said, do you think Vince is in on this shit? I do. Like Probably. It, it, Vince always had this, this thing where if it happened on live TV, they meant to do that. Like Everything that came out part, yeah. had to be under his control. So I don't, I don't see him letting this come out and not having any control or say over it. Yeah. At least secretly. Yeah. Well, up from what it sounds like up until about the time with the allegations, and that's, what's going to center around the last episode, maybe two. Um, that's where he was no longer involved with the show. He stopped doing interviews at that point. And uh, the show was allowed to uh, finish up its uh, its documentary covering that those allegations specifically, and he had no involvement, no final say over the product at that point. So hmm. what we get for maybe the last episode or two might be pretty interesting, but it's still got to. I would still wonder if it's going to go through like a WWE approval process, or if because Vince is no longer associated with the company, he's basically gone. Um, if they're just going to say, no, go ahead. I can have at it. He's gone. Who gives a shit anymore? Like it's a whole new ball game nowadays with WWE. So, but it's for the good of WWE to separate him from the company. So that's why I'm kind of like, if he's still getting payouts and shit, he's he's still going to want the company to come out clean. Hmm. So, and he's got fucking money for days. He doesn't need them anymore yeah no he doesn't he does not well he's going to be spending a bit of that in like lawyer costs but yeah <laughs> like that. So he might need a a dollar or two like a hundred years from now at that right but, yeah. but i'm gonna i'm sure shit gonna watch this so i am there's no way in hell i'm not gonna like i i won't be able to turn away i'm you a hot got no chance in hell kevin no chance. Watching this. no chance in hell. Thank you for watching this clip from our Dead Wire live streams every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Pacific time. Did you like this clip? If so, please make sure you hit that like button, share, and subscribe to this video. Stay tuned to all of our video content. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.